Guys, have you recently purchased a detachable tour pack or have you had one for a while and you've been looking for a wall mount storage solution? Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe channel. And if you spend a little bit of time with me today, I'm gonna explore with you a couple of different options for storing those tour packs up on the wall. Ultimately show you the solution that I went with and it is a DIY solution that's gonna be able to be put together in a little bit of time and at a very reasonable cost. And we'll get into all that right after this. So that's right guys, you may have seen the video that I put out recently, and if not, I'll put a link to it uh, right up here as well as down in the description, but I recently added a detachable tour pack to the Rogue Glide Special, and I also have a detachable tour pack that I haven't covered with you on the CBO Street Glide. More to come on that in a future video. But once you get these detachable tour packs, and the reason we like the detachable tour packs, or at least for me, is I have the option to take it off the bike, but then you need to store it somewhere. So I've been doing some research and ultimately came up with a solution. But what I wanna share with you is a couple of the options that I came across. So one, you can go with the Harley Davidson version. Um, it is a great option. It costs about $215-ish, right around there. And what it does is basically, it's, it's, it's like a shelf that you would mount to your wall. And then the tour pack sort of sits on top of that shelf with a detachable tour pack uh, rack, but it sits at a horizontal method. So it basically sticks out from the wall probably about 25 to 27 inches. So you have to store that thing up pretty high, otherwise you're gonna be running into it, you're gonna get it scratched, it's gonna take a bunch of space on the wall. So for me, what I wanted to do was actually store it vertically. So it's basically pushed up against the wall and it only takes up about this much space on the wall versus that much space on the wall. Another solution I came up that actually allows you to store that tour pack this way instead of this way is a product that was made by Kiss Products. I believe they're out, they were out of Tennessee. Um, and I purchased one of those, I think in 2019 for another tour pack that I had, and I really liked it. It was all billet uh, aluminum. It had aluminum tubing. I could actually store the tour pack in a, a vertical orientation and also had another uh, bar that I could store some of my other items like detachable um, luggage racks or even uh, a passenger backrest. Unfortunately, when I went to go research that, that company is now out of business. The product was great. I think I paid less than $100 for it. So, since I couldn't find that, and I couldn't find anything else in the marketplace that actually will allow me to store it on a vertical basis versus horizontal, um, I decided to make my own. What I wanna show you today is how I made that. Um, and I'm not gonna step-by-step -step construct it, but I'm gonna show you on the wall and give you the dimensions, and I'll put links down in the description to all the materials that I bought. And I purchased enough material that I could make two full racks plus another rack for my luggage racks, my passenger backrest, um, that I could put in another place in the wall for about $70. So that's right, three storage solutions for about $70. So I started with uh, an eight foot piece of one by four material um, that is primed. Um, this came in an eight foot stick. I believe I got this at Lowe's for, I think around $10 for this eight foot piece. And then I cut it into a length of 27 inches because what 27 inches is gonna do for me is actually allow me then to mount this 24 inch rod along with these floor flanges um, to mount it. So again, I started with my one by four material um, I cut this into 27 inches 
and I leveled that and set that into the studs. I found my studs, I put three screws here and three screws over there. These are actually deck screws, which I'll have a, a link to that down below. So then I needed another piece, again, cut to 27 inches. Then if you measure from here to here, this is five and three quarter inches, which is the exact length that these two need to be apart. So I knew if I had these five and three quarter apart, the middle, if I go middle to middle, I'm gonna be about five and three quarters uh, apart on these rods, which is the exact length that you need for the tour pack mount. So I got that set. And then I got these floor flanges, a two inch long, half inch little uh, pipe here, the elbow, and then these rods, they couldn't be half inch because that wouldn't fit in the tour pack uh, bracket. So these are actually a little bit smaller, but as you can see, they're going into this half inch. They're not screwed in, um, but they're not going anywhere. So actually, it actually gives you a little bit of opportunity for air. Um, to get that tour pack clicked on there. But I basically lined this up, leveled this, got five and a half inches between the middle of this flange and this flange, got these all again level here, and then now this is actually set. So to attach this to the wall, you're gonna start by putting in the top part of the, the rack in like this. And then the part that actually locks, you get that lined up and you're gonna put that on the bottom bar. And then it's just gonna roll in just like it would on your mount on the bike. So guys, that's it. Pretty nice little solution that's gonna save you a bunch of money. Again, I did this, I'll have three of these that I will have done for probably around 70 bucks with all my materials, a little bit of time, a little bit of measurement, Follow the video, and I also have, again, links to all of the things that I use to build this. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment um, down below. If you like this type of content and you found value in today's video, please give this a thumbs up. Also, consider sharing this with friends who might be interested in building a tour pack rack wall mount system like this. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this or if you have found another solution that stores a tour pack in this orientation versus coming out from the wall a long way, I'd be interested to see what other options are out there because I couldn't find anything like the KISS products version that I've had previously that I bought that I can no longer find anywhere. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you haven't done so already. And with that guys, I'm gonna leave you with this thought. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.